Christina Curtis and I'm based at the Institute of Digital Healthcare, which is at the University of Warwick. Um, so imagine if you have a health app where every single app feature is systematically linked to an intervention, to a behaviour change technique, an intervention function and a threat of the construct. Well, this is exactly what the Behaviour Change World Guide has helped me to do in developing Health Heroes, which is a healthy eating app targeting parents of overweight children. So the first stage in intervention development is understanding the target behaviour, and this involves extensive work, uh, reviewing the literature and consultation with uh, local public health department um, and pediatricians <coughs> to define the problem in terms of, in behavioural terms, was that there was too many overweight children in Warwickshire. So we wanted to improve the diets of families with overweight children. Then in terms of selecting the target behaviour, we selected to uh, reduce children's portion sizes after a consultation with paediatricians and public health experts. In terms of specifying, specifying the target behaviour, we decided to target parents of overweight children. And we ideally want them to be carrying out this behaviour every day, uh, with every meal, and within the context of the family environment. And the fourth step involved um, formative research with Change for Life advisors and parents of overweight children to actually conduct a behavioural diagnosis um, of the target behaviour. So at this point, um, I developed a questionnaire based on 23 semi-structured questions that were structured using um, the Cone B model and uh, the Theoretical Domains framework. And this was also supplemented with some questions um, asking parents what kind of app features they would prefer to have in an app and how they currently used websites um, for nutritional information and so forth. So this resulted in a number of theoretical uh, domains uh, up here you can see. And I'm not going to go through each one. Um, but just to give an example, so parents indicated that they had a difficulty in measuring um, portions for their children, age-appropriate portions. Um, and in terms of beliefs about capabilities, they had quite low confidence in terms of their ability that they could actually make changes to their children's diet, especially within the obesogenic environment that we're now living in. And in regards to environmental context and resources and social influences, parents uh, described that often it was difficult um, to ensure that their children were eating appropriate portion sizes and healthier diet um, um, when they had other people in the environment, um, such as grandparents and partners, um, giving too much food at that point. So the second stage of intervention, um, then once you have a behavioural profile, um, you then go to the behaviour change world guide and they've actually linked intervention functions such as training and education, which I think Robert talked about, um, to specific uh, theoretical constructs. So I chose five intervention functions at this point. Um, and then they've also linked these to each behaviour change technique that you can use. And at this point it was necessary to carry out an extensive review of the literature on which behaviour change techniques have been effective with targeting parents for weight management programmes. So we selected uh, behaviour change techniques based on this and um, we then carried out some work with parents um, and also worked with an app company to operationalise these into specific app features. So just to give an example, so if we go right back from the linking process, you have physical capability, and this was linked to uh, sub-theme of skills, uh, parents' difficulty in measuring portion sizes, and this was then linked to uh, the intervention function of training, which was then linked to instruction on how to perform the behaviour, um, and this was then a, a feature in the app, is the actual food uh, portion measuring tool that parents can use when they're measuring um, their children's portions every day. So I just want to end really saying that we are in uncharted waters and we still know very little about which specific components of apps are effective for behaviour change. But I think by using such a systematic method as the Behaviour Change World Guide, it really allows us to specify um, each component in the intervention, which will allow other research to replicate and for us to synthesise the evidence, um, which is vital if we want to advance the field of behaviour change and specifically M-Health. <coughs>